Hey guys, I've got my test WordPress site here. On it, I've got a smart slide deck, and as you can see, it works just fine. Whether I use my mouse wheel or click, and it displays correctly. Sometimes a user will contact us and let us know that they installed the plugin and the slide deck doesn't quite look right. It's usually because jQuery is included twice or their theme does not have a WP head or WP footer function in it. I'm going to get into that and explain what these two functions do. I promise I'll make it quick and then I'll show you how to modify your theme so that it actually does include these functions. So let's get started. First, let's take a look at what happens if your theme does not have it. I've got my themes header.php open right here and there's a lot of stuff in here but the important tag we're looking for is the close head. If you do not have this WP head function right before your head closes, you're going to have problems. Now just to make a point, I'm going to comment this function out and save my file. Going back to my test installation, if I reload the page, you can see that slide deck is now broken. Why did this happen? Well, if we look at the source of the page, we can see that this happened because here, the head of the file, all it has is a couple style sheets. No JavaScripts were ever given the chance to load. The WP head function is where WordPress loads JavaScripts that plugins have requested. It does a lot of other cool stuff in there as well, but for the most part, the JavaScript loading is the problem here. The WP footer is a similar issue. The footer file is another popular place for authors to load scripts. The reason we do this is because sometimes you don't know what scripts you need to load until the end of the page, or you just don't want to block the loading of the page by loading your heavy script at the top. If you load it at the bottom, the rest of the page loads, and the user doesn't have to wait on a JavaScript loading. Similarly, if I comment the WP footer tag out, I reload the page. You can see that the slide deck breaks. In this instance, it broke in a different way. It seems to look like a normal slide deck and a smart slide deck at the same time. If I go to another page on my site, you can see here that the decks are broken in a much more spectacular fashion. This is because on a page with multiple slide decks, WP footer is even more important. So I'm going to uncomment it. I've got my WP head and my WP footer back into place and things seem to be working well. So what do you do if your theme doesn't have WP head and WP footer? Let's take a look at how you can fix that. So if you've determined that you need to add a WP head or a WP footer function to your theme, here's how you do it. Simply open your theme files footer.php file or header.php file and in the case of the footer just before the body tag closes, add wp underscore footer as a function. For the header, just before the head tag closes, add wp underscore head. This can be done through the WordPress interface as well. If we go to my WordPress 3 dashboard, and then under the appearance menu option, click editor, we can actually select our theme, and then edit files that belong to the theme. I can edit the footer.php file, scroll down to the bottom, and just make sure that wp underscore footer appears just before the body tag closes. It's also important to note that if you've got nothing down here before the body tag closes, and you try to put wp footer, it's not going to work. It needs to be enclosed in PHP tags, just like this. Once you've got that set up, you should be good to go.